Friday, April 17th, 2020, Mesa, Arizona, Michael O. Maddox, HopeInPrison.com. On Wednesday morning, Brother Scott Baker, who is also a volunteer at the jails, called and asked if I could help Michael Maddox, who I'll call Michael M., with his taxes. I said, sure. Brother Baker went on to explain that Michael M. had been incarcerated for 40 plus years for a robbery that had gone very wrong when someone was killed. I checked the court records. The man's name who died was Michael Smear, who I'll call Michael S. I was caught off guard by my own reaction. I could feel my heart recoiling. I didn't want anything to do with this guy. I prayed and prayed to have the right attitude for the rest of the day. On Thursday morning, as I pondered the situation, the most gentle thought came to me. Michael S. forgave Michael M. a long time ago. Okay, I thought. Okay. I called Michael M. and asked if he wanted to meet at the halfway house. The halfway house where he lives is about four miles from my office to do his taxes. He said not to worry. He wanted to walk to our appointment. This afternoon, Michael M. was at my office promptly at 2 p.m. My guess is he saw more of the outside world on his four-mile walk than he was able to see from his cell the whole time he was in prison. I learned that Michael M. was released last June. In 2019, he worked as a sign holder for a local business, and this was the first time he had ever done his taxes. Michael M. told me he had gone to prison at age 17 and had actually been there 46 years. I was able to get Michael M. a small refund. I apologized that it wasn't more and added that at least it was better than a kick in the head. Michael M. said he'd been kicked in the head before and the small refund was absolutely better. I asked Michael M. if it was okay to post this journal entry and his picture on the internet. He said it would be fine. I wondered out loud if someone might come and try to get him. He laughed and assured me no one was after him. Michael M.'s plans for the future. 1. Enjoy his walk home. The state recently removed the GPS tracking bracelet from his ankle. 2. Continue learning from the missionaries. He just met them a little before COVID-19 broke out. 3. Finish parole. He feels confident he can do this. He's not addicted to alcohol or drugs.